Okay, welcome to the third and final video of lecture 18 regarding utilization of high temperature geothermal resources. Um, so geothermal power, so generating electricity from geothermal resources was first tested in 1904 in the country of Italy. Um, and the person who invented it, I uh, didn't get his name unfortunately, but used it to light four light bulbs so with geothermal power, they were able to light four light bulbs and prove that with just heat from the earth, probably in the form of steam, uh, then we can get some electricity. Today, uh, that has grown so that the total utilization, the total amount of power we generate using geothermal resources in the world is 12.8 gigawatts. That's worldwide. I believe that's as of 2018. In the United States, that number is 3.55 gigawatts. That's in the USA. We actually um, have a pretty decent share despite not having the best geothermal resources. Um, so that's pretty good. The capacity factor of geothermal is very reliable. Um, it is a no, more or less constant source of heat. Um, <clears throat> and so they tend to run these plants just continuously. So the capacity factor is 75% on average across the world for a geothermal um, plant producing electricity. They have demonstrated plants that are getting capacity factors of 98%. Finally, in this figure on the left, uh, I show where all of the actual operating geothermal power plants are in the United States and as expected they're in the hot spot regions we identified in the first lecture. So lots in you know Nevada and especially in California at various um, very localized um, geysers or hot spot locations. Uh, there's also one in Alaska and a few in Hawaii which makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's it for utilization. Um, next, we're going to talk about low temperature resources. And that's in lecture 19.